Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry, and I'm back with day 31 of one month in my digital planner. So it's obviously the last day of May, but I do have a little surprise for you, and that is that tomorrow I'm gonna still be doing one more one month in my digital planner video to kind of round out the month. So this is not the last, it's only the second to last, um, so I'll wait to say. <laughs> Um, my goodbyes, not really goodbyes, but you know what I mean. I'll wait until tomorrow to uh, go too deep into that. All right, so for today, Thursday, I really want to come back in on Wednesday and mark off my tasks. So book club announcements still have not happened. I spent basically all day yesterday working on those digital planners. So I'm going to migrate that forward to today. And actually, I'm just going to migrate kind of as I go here today. All right, so that has been migrated. Uh, digital planners, that was basically all I did yesterday. I'm very happy to report that they're mostly done. <laughs> um, I finally got everything finalized and perfect and beautiful, and the file size on these things is ridiculous. So I'm gonna be basically spending the rest of today trying to figure out how to make the file sizes smaller yet still retain the quality. Um, June box photos, I did take care of those, and manicure, you can see, I did not get around to. So hopefully I'll be able to do that tonight. <laughs> Once I get these digital planners done, I'll feel like I can take a break. <laughs> All right, so we've got that migrated over as well. I'm going to do a little bit of journaling for yesterday real quick down here. All right, journaling is done. You can tell my handwriting is super funky. It's because I haven't done my nails yet and this thumbnail, <laughs> it keeps sticking into my finger and it hurts, okay. <laughs> Hot mess, I tell ya. All right, so for today, Thursday, let's check out weather. And it's raining outside right now, so I'm assuming, uh, it says just cloudy, 79.55. All right, and then my time bar for today is basically just gonna be work. <laughs> I am gonna be, oop, that's too small, Kara. I am gonna be um, working like crazy on my laptop today, getting all the things done. All right, hopefully, hopefully I'll be done by like 5, 5.30 today. Oh, I forgot to highlight for my, my Crete Joy call as well, because today is Thursday. So let's put that there. And there we go, maybe six now. <laughs> All right, so that is gonna be it. I'm really not gonna add anything else to my day either. I have my Crete Joy call at 2.30. I do need to schedule our live Q&A for our Facebook group. Uh, book club announcements, technically I can move those forward to tomorrow if I want because the new month doesn't start until tomorrow. Um, and then manicure, I definitely, I at least need to trim my nails. Um, so yeah, digital planners. Let's go back to our pen tool. <laughs> A little excessive? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So setting up for today is done. Now I need to go back and do my monthly spreads. So I'm going to go to May. Let's grab my blue for my habit tracker. And for yesterday, eat clean is a yes. Bed by 11, yes. And then up by six today, definitely. Um, I have not worked out yet, but I do plan to. I need to run today from my couch to 5K. Um, and then prenatal vitamin, I did take that. Okay, we're getting so close to the end, y'all. All right, gray for gratitude log. Let's see. Oh, what am I grateful for? 
<laughs> for yesterday. I basically spent the entire day just on the couch with my laptop in front of me working on those planners. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to put uh, taking a break because I did take a little break yesterday um, for a nice long dinner, which was really, really good and very needed to kind of get my eyes away from my screen for a little bit. So I'm actually going to put it right down here because I still have room. All right, there we go. Um, last but not least is Mood Mandala. So for yesterday, definitely, definitely going to be productive. Again, another big green circle here. All right, and I'm just going to kind of go for it. All right, that's pretty good. That's as close as I'm gonna get. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm pretty happy with that. And then tomorrow when I do that final video, I'll come in, finish out my last ring and draw in my mandala. All right, y'all, so that is gonna be it for today. I'm keeping it really short and sweet today because I have so much that I need to finish up today. I do want to leave you with a tiny little sneak peek of the teacher planner. Um, the student planner is going to be very similar. It's just going to have some different layouts, but I have my test planner open here and I'm just going to go to the cover. You'll see this looks very familiar. Uh, the big difference is that I've gotten rid of all of that extra space around so your planner is much much bigger on the screen so you can just tell the difference right there and how much bigger it is. I have moved the buttons for blank pages. Those are in a bonus section now. So when you come in here you're on the front page. I have a 2018 to 2019. This is dated from July to June. Um, so we have a little yearly overview here and then if you tap on the bonus tab we have all of our bonus pages. So for teachers, I have a lesson plan, I have a student checklist, I have a few different bonus weekly layouts if you don't wanna use the one that's included, and then your blank pages down here. And then I also added a little index to where you can kind of create your own layouts or templates to use over and over again. So each one of these is a link to a blank page where you can create your own layout and then you can index it right here so that you have links to those. Here's the lesson planning page. We have the student checklist and then we have a few different weekly layouts. So I have a horizontal Monday start. I have that same in a Sunday start Then I have a vertical Monday start. This is an hourly layout, which is actually what's in the rest of the planner. And then I'll just give you a brief view of July. This is, <laughs> you can tell this is my test planner. This is where I was testing it out and making sure that I had everything in the right order and obviously I was missing a week here but you can just see the general layout so we have the dates across the top Monday through Sunday a section for notes on the very left I have three boxes at the beginning of each day so you can see here and then each day is broken down in half hour increments from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. And then you have a little section right down here that you could repurpose for whatever you need. So just a brief little teaser there. I'm gonna be doing a full video overview that will come out tomorrow when the planners are released. So that'll answer all of your questions about that. I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to show you what I've been working so hard on. Um, I hope you all have a great and wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna get back to my computer, get this video edited and then basically spend my day trying to figure out how to reduce the file size of this monster. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.